Do you know how I'm supposed to speak in Tongva? I know some words, yeah. The only word I know how to say is Toro Vim. You know um, the song, the ancestor song. Um, Why is this bar broken down? Because that's where we get in. So Ellie, I want you to see that this is the river. Our people had villages along the river like this. Can you guess why? Maybe to take showers and baths. To bathe, you're right. What else do you see? What green things do you see? Big and short. For food. Yeah, for food. So remember there's plant people and the plants are part of who we consider part of our tribe because the plants gave us food, the plants gave us medicine, the plants gave us tools. I think it's actually pretty cool. Like, you just don't know what's in it, and you're like, what's just like gonna come next? So I'm really excited to be doing this. There's a lot of gifts that the river can give to a lot of different people. If I give it one mosquito bite, dude, I'll be a little mad. Whoa, this rock, that rock. That's the movie one? Yeah, movie. Whoa. Oh, no. Let's go check it out. This river, Ellie was so important to our people because it was like a life way, but this river also showed us a path, like the freeway today. If you went north, we heard of stories of people going all the way north on the river, all the way up to Monterey, which is about probably 300 miles from here, maybe further, just from the river. They would just stay on the same path. Wow, that's kind of pretty cool. When we come out and we look at the plant people and we don't want to disturb where they're at because this is where they're growing and they're thriving, one way that we can tell the plants that we're looking at is if, without picking them is we just go to the plant and if you don't know, you can kind of rub it and then you smell your fingers to see if it smells familiar. And then that way we didn't take anything from the plant because if we took from the plant, we would have to give it an offering, right? Oh. Let's keep looking. These are the reeds I was looking for. No, this isn't it. Ooh, let's look over here. Today we're looking for tule reed, but I don't see it. And you know it because it has like a little flower at the tip. Back when our people lived here, Ellie, this would have been mostly reeds that we would have used for basket material. There would have been trees that were willow, and willow was really important because we would make your skirt out of willow, and insects don't like willow. So we could have used those willow uh, baskets to put our food in, and we would have used willow on your head, like this, put it across when it was wet, because willow has aspirin in it, and that would have been like medicine, like taking a Tylenol. I know. Wow. Good. What do you see? A red dragonfly. Beautiful. As a Tongva person, I feel like when you touch a plant, you're talking to your ancestor because they're the plant people. So when you touch it, you're feeling if there's maybe little fibrous hairs on there. Some leaves are sticky, some leaves are smooth, some leaves are toothed. And so looking at the plant and touching it, it's just a deeper way of connecting to the plant, knowing if a plant is getting ready to bud like this plant right here. I would never gather from this plant because to me that plant shows me that it's pregnant. It's getting ready to bloom and so just to have respect for the plant, it remembers that I was respectful towards it. It will in turn give me respect. It might heal me. It might provide some type of food for my family. It might provide um, shelter for my family. There's a lot of things that the plant will give me so I always want to make sure that I'm respectful to the plant, to water. Uh, just to all of all of Mother Earth, it's it's vitally important so that you can live in in community with your natural environment. It just looks like just like so like relaxing and natureful like. I actually feel like they actually use this. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm just going to touch and not use it that much. I could actually see that they like used it. 
This is tobacco and some white sage. Tobacco? Yes, because tobacco wasn't what we used back, um, what you see today. Tobacco to our people was super sacred. It was more valuable than gold. So whenever we are going to the plants and we're gonna get something from the plant, remember I told you it's all about respect. So we have to show the plant respect and the way that we do it is we give them an offering. When we go to the plant, we say, thank you plant. Thank you for the, for the gifts and for the offerings. And you can kind of touch it and just know, just show it respect and just love it. Thank you for your gifts. So Ellie, today I'm gonna to show you how to make something. What do you think this looks like? A doll kind of? Yeah, it does, and it is. So like I said, we couldn't go to the grocery store or to Target to go grab a toy. So we would have to make everything that the kids would play with. And the first thing we're gonna make is this. What's this? Rope. Rope. And did you know our people knew how to make rope? We did. We needed rope for a lot of different things. So the rope that we're gonna make today is from just some material that I bought at the store. And the first thing I'm gonna have you do is just hold it. So can you put your finger out or you can pinch it? It's up to you. What do you wanna do? Okay. So you are gonna wrap it around your finger and all we're doing is twisting the rope. So as long as you return plants back to water, all of a sudden you can bend them again and it doesn't harm them. So water was really important to the plants because it made them go back to their natural state. What did we do for toothbrushes? For, there were some brushes that we could use, that we, or plants that we could use to put on our finger and use that. Mm -hmm. Like what type of plant? Mm, I don't see any plants here. I do see a big wasp though. <laughs> Just stay still, you're okay. Tule reed is spongy in the middle because it soaks up water and it holds water, which is why we used it for our homes and we used it for making mats. We used it for a lot of different purposes. So it was really important to our people. So the green one was like the really fresh one and the brown one is the one that we're gonna use. You just need six sticks about the same size. They're pretty similar. Are they nice and spongy? Do you see the water coming out? Okay, the first thing you're gonna do, make a cross. But the one that is up and down, the one that is vertical, I want you to put it behind the horizontal one. Then you're gonna take this top one and fold it down, just like that, okay? Now we're gonna get your next stick. So pick your next stick and put it right here, horizontal. And I'm gonna hold it. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. You're gonna take the top one and you're gonna fold it down. Hold it. See it? Yeah. Okay, so get the next one. So can I try? Mm-hmm. And then bend down. Right, and I'm gonna hold it. And then bend down. Perfect, okay. Now what? And then another one. Mm -hmm. Hold that one down. And good. Making the dog pretty easy. You think it's pretty easy? Yeah. Good. And you know one thing I forgot to tell you that's really important when you're doing this? You're already doing it. You have to keep a good, positive thoughts in your mind and in your heart. Because whatever you put in your thoughts, in your mind, and in your heart, it's gonna come out in your Thule doll. Okay, last one. Oh, that's a big one. Nice and tight. There you go. Hold it down. Good job. Good job, Ellie. Okay, now the last one, all you do is fold it down. Yep, hold it. Then we're gonna get our rope that we used. Oh, what do you think we're gonna do with it? Tie it around. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. How about you hold the tule? And I'll tie it in a little knot. And I have some scissors around here. We wouldn't have had scissors, right? Remember, we didn't have any, any type of stores. Do you wanna give your baby a name? Tulip. Tulip, the Tule doll. <laughs> so Ellie, I want you to remember, our people came to the river for a lot of different reasons because 
The river was part of us and we showed the river respect and the river showed us respect and we used it and it, it benefited us. When you come to the river, or when you go out in nature, that's a place for you to become re-energized. And you come out and you feel a lot better because you can appreciate the beautiful gifts that Creator gave us. Don't ever forget that. So even when things look down, come to the river, go out in nature, and talk to nature, and let Creator fill your spirit back up with a lot of hope and love because you can see all the gifts around you. Native Narratives is made possible by support from City National Bank and M Squared O.